This steel structure warehouse building collapsed. Today, we'll discuss the critical flaws in its design. First issue, a portal frame building requires a bracing system, including both vertical column bracing and horizontal roof bracing. The drawing shows corbels on the columns, indicating this is a portal frame building with an overhead crane. Crane operation generates significant horizontal forces, demanding a robust bracing system capable of resisting both tension and compression. Typically, we use angle steel with lacing bars to install cross bracing both above and below the corbel. Additionally, continuous horizontal bracing should be installed at the corbel level to ensure a solid and reliable structure. Furthermore, in base where vertical column bracing is installed, corresponding roof bracing must also be provided, which can be constructed using round steel with high rods. It's important to note that at the ridge and eave, tie rods must run continuously along the longitudinal direction. This forms a spatial structural system longitudinally, increasing longitudinal stiffness and preventing overturning under horizontal loads. However, as you can see, this building lacked both column and roof bracing, leading to longitudinal instability, a fundamental flaw in the structural system. Second issue. In a crane-equipped building, the column section below the corbel typically has a larger cross-section to carry the additional crane loads. The section above the corbel only supports the roof load, so its cross-section can be reduced for economy. However, column stability must be carefully considered in the design. If the upper column section is too small, it can experience out-of-plane buckling when the axial load reaches the euler critical load meaning it bends like this. Additionally, due to the lack of a bracing system, vertical deviations could accumulate during construction. If a column has an initial inclination, the axial force will introduce second-order effects, generating an out-of-plane bending moment. If the upper column section is too small to resist this moment, bending failure will occur at the node connection.